That antifreeze has been leaking since last year. Yeah. So it might so be. It's mine. Oh well, that's a different story. I got a note on my steering wheel. Yeah, you have a cooler, but let us know when it gets worse. Really? Let us know when it gets worse. Yep. I said I'll let you know when the engine blows up. <laughs> <laughs> I let you know it had a cooler. Next one, I'll let you know when it blows up. It was and so, I kept the notes. It was funny. Um, I think it was either yesterday or the day before. I guess Tierra wasn't here, so she had a substitute on that bus. And they called her and said, my stop sign is, the stop sign on this bus is stuck out. But Joanne, <laughs> Joanne got so bad. She was like, well, push it. Like, she didn't yeah. go on the radio and say that. But she was like, well, push it back in. Right. And then she was like, I'm tired of this crap. She just turned off the radio. That was the day that she called me over to her bus. Because <laughs> I pulled in. We dropped off at the high school. And we went over my test work back in. And my eyes were really bothering me. So I pulled back there for a minute. I sit there and I close my eyes for a minute. My phone rings. I look uh -huh. down, it's Joanne. She's sitting there. <laughs> She's I, calling me. I would do something like that. Like what? She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> said, well, I was trying to sleep. <laughs> Come here and smell my glass. What I do you mean? Come here and smell your glass. I'd be like, what? You woke me up for that? I was in the middle of a good nap. <laughs> so she must have turned and was looking the other way or something. I got off my bus and I'm walking up and she's talking. Then the lady got, I come up to the door. She's like, I'm still talking to you. I said, it's okay because I'm still listening. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a few days ago she pulled up to me like to drop my brother off. And um, she was like, you smell that? I was like, yeah, I smell it, because I was standing at the stairs. I was like, yeah, I smell it. It smells like some type of grease or That's what something. That's I said. I believe oil. it's a petroleum product. I believe it's a oil of some kind. And then, sh and then I backed up for a second. I don't know why, but I backed up, and it smelled way worse on the outside, which, of course, it would. But. Yeah, she's so funny. Yes, she is. Still, <laughs> yesterday... A squirrel ran out in front of the bus. Why did she open the window? It was like, you stupid squirrel, I almost ran you over. <laughs> I started cracking up. When you get on the bus next time, tell her you want to see her bear spray. Her who? Bear spray. <laughs> okay. She wants to have bear spray in her bag. <laughs> Why, you think there's going to be a bear out on a lap somewhere? <laughs> you never know where you might be. Yeah, I mean... She had bears, <laughs> and roll a toilet paper. I don't know what else she had there. Like, what the? You never know when you might need that stuff. I mean, that's true, but still. But that's taking Girl Scouts a little too far. <laughs> Bear spring in Detroit. Yeah. Yes, she is. She put a thing on Facebook the other day and said, I have two goals in life. One is to piss people off. One is to make them laugh. And which <laughs> one are you? <laughs> that, that. I'm like, I'm usually number two. Occasionally number one. But usually number two. I feel like I'm both of those all the time. <laughs> getting dark. I hate this getting dark early. Yeah. And it, it makes me even more irritated because my grandmother, you know, she don't have that good advice. Well, she's only, she's in her, I'm going to say mid-50s. 
and um, she has really bad eyesight though. She's legally blind in one eye, so she had surgery and everything that didn't help. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh, she can't see that well at night. Like her perception to how far cars are away is terrible with like headlights and stuff. So, and she gets off of work at like six o'clock. So it's pitch black. And she has to go to work at like, she leaves the house at like 5.30 to go to work. So it's pitch black then too. What kind? I'll take the sniffing machine, please. Yeah, under my coat. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. In this bucket? In the bucket? She's allergic to peanuts, and she has an EpiPen. It's that bad. So. Well, every one of those candy bars, I had like eight different kinds. I didn't think nothing of it. Yeah. You know, like a Hershey bar. If you're allergic to peanuts, get a Hershey bar. Yeah. Oh, no. Processed on equipment, they use peanuts. Wow. You would think that they would not do that, so that therefore they get more business to people that are allergic to nuts. And I got one little girl can't have peanuts, so I'm sitting here. I'm like, what can I give this kid for snack? I know, yeah. You know? Well, I had a little one of little forty cent, fifty cent bags of uh, what are they call pirate booty. <laughs> They're kind of like a... They're kind of like that, that thick popcorn stuff. Yeah. You know, with no, no hole. Mm -hmm. And I think they got like a white cheese, like cheese on it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I had a little bag of that in my... Oh my. My hair. I brought this for you. I remember one day a few years ago, Penny was like, she was like, it was when I, when she was still driving nine. She was like, there's these two USB things in my glove box that nobody has taken. And it's been here for like months. You want one of them? And I was like, sure. So I found it, took it, used it, broke it, you know. <laughs> well, I don't normally buy chocolate for the kids on the bus. Yeah. But number two, it's a lot of work. Open like hell, nobody has a reaction there. Yeah. Oh, Lord, oh, lady, please don't get right over. Okay, I'm going to get my But I got a really good deal on it. So I thought. What, they got the, um, trying to get rid of the Halloween candy? I paid like a buck a bag for chocolate. Dang, that's a good deal. I normally stick to like roll pops. Yeah. Fifty roll pops. Starburst. Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Black and Tappy. I haven't had licorice in a long time. Yeah, I don't, I don't bring a um, chocolate too
I was just thinking about or earlier. I was thinking about Varga and remembering all her rules back when I was in elementary school. I remember, like, when we were bad with a substitute, she did not play with that crap. She was like, y'all all better be quiet or y'all getting written up. Like, if we were bad with a substitute. <laughs> I remember she yelled at me because I guess this was, like, when my bus obs obsession, some people call it, first started. And that one of those times was happening and I was talking to her. And she was like, you have to be quiet, too. And I was like, but I'm talking to you though. My feelings are so hurt. <laughs> a lot of people there. It must be a wedding or something. Oh, it says auction. That car did not look like it was about to stop. Probably wouldn't have if I had to go coming. Probably would. Yeah, I packed all that candy out today, though. You know, I was letting the kids pick their own. Yeah. We got this little kindergartner. He took a mountain park mm -hmm. or uh, almond joy his mom made him put it back because <laughs> she don't like them wow well what's that got to do with anything I know I'm thinking you little witch <laughs> got one little teeny tiny piece of chocolate. If you take that away from him, I'll come over here and keep your butt. <laughs> like, the only reason why I do take candy from my brother, I know you remember him. You at least probably do, because I remember that the weird one week where you were, like, seven for us. I don't remember why, but you were in 39, and you were seven for us. Two years ago? Yeah. Yeah, I know why. What, ha ha what happened? Week? Yeah. That dog looked like it was about to jump over that fence, didn't it? They always do. That's the week they took me off my bus because they were going to kill me. Why? The parents were going to kill me. All the parents. Huh? I said all the parents. I thought yeah. you said the transportation office. Easter. The parents was going to kill me. Like they took they... me off the bus. They put two drivers, four administrators, and an armed police officer on it. Dang. For a week. Treat you real kind, and I hope you have all you ever dreamed of. Oh, I do wish you joy. I wish you lots of happiness, but above.